Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. So now we proceed to the next type of animal tissue which are muscle tissue. Okay, so muscle tissue are specialized to contract. So how many types of muscle tissue that you have to know? There are three types. The first one we call as move muscle. Second, skeletal or striated muscle. Saya nak awak tambahkan perkataan skeletal pada awak punya handouts. Satu lagi adalah cardiac muscle. Okay, so what you have to differentiate in between all of these three type of muscle tissue, you have to know the structure, the distribution and also its function. Okay, so first of all, we look at the smooth muscle. Okay, so awak kena perhatikan ah, the shape of the smooth muscle here. Okay, so the shape of the smooth muscle here is spindle shape cell. Ah, dia berbentuk spindle macam ni. Okay, and then each muscle cell contains single nucleus. So if you look at the cell here, okay, each of the muscle cell here, it contains single nucleus and it is lack of striation. Okay, so what is the meaning of striation? If you compare smooth muscle with skeletal and also cardiac muscle, so both skeletal and also cardiac muscle, it has striation. Striation means awak akan nampak garisan yang macam belang-belang ataupun kita panggil sebagai stripe. Ha, tapi kalau untuk smooth muscle, it is lack of striation. Okay, so where is the distribution of the smooth muscle? Okay, it can be found at the wall of digestive tract, urinary bladder, arteries and also other internal organ. And then the function of the smooth muscle, it will involve in peristaltic movement. Okay, ha, maksudnya melalui proses peristalsis And then involuntary movement ha, Maksudnya dia akan terlibat dalam involuntary movement What is the meaning of involuntary? Maksudnya pergerakan yang kita tak boleh kontrol Kita tak boleh kawal Okay Or it will move food along esophagus Okay And then next we look at skeletal or striated muscle. So look at the shape of the skeletal or striated muscle here. The shape are elongated and cylindrical. Elongated means dia memanjang. And then each muscle cell are multinucleated. Nah, each muscle cell are multinucleated. So means that okay, dekat setiap muscle cell ni dia boleh ada lebih daripada satu nuk. Nucleus. Ha, so that term we call as multinucleated And then peripherally located nuclei ha, Peripherally ni maksudnya dia punya nuclei ni bukan berada dekat center Okay and then it is unbranched fiber Okay unbranched maksudnya dia tak ada cabang Satu lagi it is striated cell ha, Striated means dia adalah striated lah dia ada stripe Okay, and then where we can found the skeletal or striated muscle? Uh, since nama dia pun memang ada skeletal, uh, so where the distribution of the skeletal muscle, it will attach to the skeleton. Okay, so the function of the skeletal muscle, it will function in voluntary movement. Uh, so voluntary movement ni adalah pergerakan yang kita boleh kawal ataupun pergerakan yang kita boleh control. For the example, walking. Okay. And then the last muscle tissue are cardiac muscle. Okay, so for cardiac muscle, the shape of the cardiac muscle, if you look at here, it is same as the skeletal muscle. Means that for cardiac muscle, it is also elongated and also cylindrical. Okay, but for each cardiac cell, it contain only one or two nuclei. Ha, kalau untuk skeletal muscle tadi, each muscle cell are multinucleated. Tapi kalau untuk cardiac muscle, each cardiac cell contain only one or two nuclei. And then the nuclei, okay, for the cardiac muscle is centrally located. Maksudnya dia berada pada bahagian center. And then for cardiac muscle, it is branching fiber. Branching ni awak akan nampak dekat sini, dia ada cabang. Okay, ha, tapi kalau skeletal muscle tadi dia tak ada. Dia adalah unbranching fiber. And then for cardiac muscle also it has a structure that we call as intercalated disc. Ha, so where does the inter intercalated disc here? Ha, nanti awak labelkan. Ha. Ha, so this is intercalated disc. Ha, garisan yang awak akan nampak berwarna gelap sikit ni. Ha, so this is intercalated disc. Okay so the function of intercalated disc. It will release signal between the cell during heartbeat. Okay. Okay, another one for cardiac muscle, it is striated cell. Okay, so where we can found? Okay, the cardiac muscle distribution. Since nama dia adalah cardiac, okay, so means that cardiac muscle will be found at the wall of 
hard. Okay, so the function of the cardiac muscle, it will involve in involuntary activity. Maksudnya kita boleh katakan dekat sini, uh, activity yang mana kita tak boleh nak kawal lah ataupun involuntary movement. Okay, so for the example here in specific contraction of heart which is it will help in pumping blood. Okay, uh, so for here you have to know how to differentiate each type of the muscle tissue. Okay, so now we look at the last type of animal tissue which are connective tissue. Okay, so first of all, for connective tissue, uh, you have to divide it into another three types. The first one we call as compact bone, the other one hyaline cartilage and the last one blood. Okay, so before we go through each type of the connective tissue, so first of all, you have to know what is connective tissue. It is a sparse population of cell scattered through extracellular matrix and then hold many tissue and organ together in place. Okay, so this is the uh, definition, what is connective tissue. And then the basic component of the connective tissue, it has the specialized cell, extracellular protein fiber, Another one, ground substance. Ground substance actually we refer to the material that fill the space between the cell. Oh, this one kita panggil sebagai constitute matrix. So kalau kita bezakan untuk compact bone, its ground substance adalah hard mineral. Kalau untuk hyaline cartilage, its ground substance adalah chondroitin sulfate. Why for blood, its ground substance is plasma. Okay, so now. We look at this one first. So usually the question it wants you to differentiate between compact bone and also hyaline cartilage. Okay, so first of all we look at the structure first. Okay, so this is the structure of the bone or compact bone, and then here is the structure of the hyaline cartilage. So what you have to take note here, okay, in compact bone, okay, it consists of a repeating unit called haversian system or osteon. Okay, so kalau tengok based on this one, mammalian bone consists of repeating unit called haversian system or osteon. So where does the haversian system is right here? Nah, yang ni. Ah, so kita akan nampak benda yang circle ni. Okay, ah, so this one ni ni adalah haversian system or osteon. This one also we call as haversian system. This is also an haversian system. And then each system has concentric layer of mineral, uh, mineralized matrix or we call as lamella deposited around central canal. Okay, so each system here, kalau awak tengok each of the osteon, it has a concentric layer of mineralized matrix or lamella. So, yang ni lah kita akan nampak. Ha, so, this is lamella. Garisan dia tu. Okay, lamella. Okay, ha, lamella and then here is also lamella. Kalau awak tengok garisan yang bulat-bulat uh, ni lah. Ha, satu ni kita panggil sebagai haversian system or osteon. The concentric layer here, okay, the concentric layer of mineralized matrix. So, ni adalah matrix ni sebenarnya. Garisan-garisan ni kita panggil sebagai lamella. Okay. Okay, and then lamella is deposited around the central canal. So, what is the central canal here? Ha, structure yang berada dekat center ni kita panggil sebagai central canal. Okay, and then here is the matrix. Okay. Then, kita tengok dulu. Untuk compact bone, okay, so tadi saya dah explain based on the structure of the compact bone. So, now kita tengok dulu structure of the hyaline cartilage, okay. So, here dia labelkan dekat sini chondrocyte. So, what is chondrocyte? Actually, it is the cell of the hyaline cartilage and then the matrix of the cartilage, okay. It is composed of the chondroitin sulfate and then this is the structure that we call as lacunae, okay. So, nanti kita akan tengok one by one. Okay, so first of all, if the question asks you to differentiate between the compact bone and also hyaline cartilage, firstly, you can give differences based on the cell. Ah, the cell for compact bone is called osteoblast or osteocyte, okay. Okay. Kalau osteocyte ni sebenarnya dia adalah matured osteoblast. Ha, maksudnya sel yang belum matured kita panggil sebagai osteoblast. Tapi sel yang dah matured kita panggil sebagai osteocyte. Okay. But for hyaline cartilage, the cell is called as chondroblast or chondrocyte. Ha, so that's why awak, awak akan nampak. Ha, this is the chondrocyte. Okay. So the chondrocyte here is refers to the cell of the cartilage. And then... If you look at the second different cell, 
ataupun in specific the osteocyte tadi is arranged in concentric circle. Ah so cell tu sebenarnya dia sebenarnya berada pada struktur yang warna hitam-hitam ni. Ah so struktur yang gelap ni kita panggil sebagai lakune. So dekat dalam lakune tu akan ada osteocyte. Nah so that's why kalau awak nampak lakune tu dia akan arrange in concentric circle. Ah garisan yang bulatan yang saya katakan lamella tadi tu. Okay, uh, so cell ataupun osteocyte is located or arranged in the concentric circle. But for cartilage, hyaline cartilage, the cell are scattered throughout the tissue. Maksudnya scattered, dia adalah berterabur. Okay, throughout the tissue. Sebab dia tak ada concentric circle. Okay, and then for compact bone, each lacuna has one osteocyte. Okay, so lacuna tu sebenarnya yang ni ya, yang kali hitam ni. Okay. Uh, so, this is lacuna. Okay. So, each of the lacuna, it has one osteocyte. But for uh, this one. Okay. For hyaline cartilage, each lacuna. Okay. So, this is the lacuna. It has one, two or four chondrocyte. Okay. So, saya nak awak betulkan pada handouts. Dekat handouts awak, uh, dekat situ dia mention one, two, four or eight kan. So, awak tukarkan kepada one, two or four. Chondrocyte. Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini, this lacuna ada satu. This lacuna ada dua ha, chondrocyte. Maksudnya, the, setiap lacuna dia boleh ada satu, dua ataupun empat chondrocyte. Tapi kalau untuk compact bone, each of the lacuna has only one osteocyte. Okay, and then for compact bone, lacuna are interconnected by canaliculi. So, where does the canaliculi? Okay, so here, this structure here. So, ni adalah Lakuna yang kalau gelap tu tadi kan. So, it will be connected by canaliculi. Okay. So, kalau saya labelkan dekat sini. So, this is lakuna. Okay. And then the structure here. Yang memanjang ni. Okay. So, this is what we call as canaliculi. Okay. So, each of the lakuna. Okay. Is connected by canaliculi. But For cartilage, lacuna are not interconnected. Ha, so, kita tak nampak lah ada garisan ataupun ada apa-apa yang menghubungkan in between the lacuna. Okay, and then for compact bone matrix is composed of mineral salt which are hard mineral and also collagen. Okay, but for cartilage matrix is composed of chondroitin sulfate ah so yang ni dia dah mention dekat sini so the matrix of the cartilage is composed of chondroitin sulfate tapi kalau untuk matrix of the compact bone is composed of the mineral salt which is hard mineral and also collagen okay and then for compact bone it has hard matrix but for cartilage it has soft and elastic matrix okey cartilage ni sebenarnya dia adalah uh, kita boleh kata dia tulang rawan tau yang color putih tu ha okey so since kalau untuk compact bone dia ada hard matrix so that's why the structure of the compact bone is more Uh, kita boleh katakan dia adalah lebih kuat uh, compare dengan structure of the cartilage sebab cartilage ni dia adalah soft and also elastic matrix okay and then for compact bone it has blood vessel nerve and limb in the central canal here okay but for uh, cartilage there is no blood vessel nerve and limb okay so Since uh, cartilage, it does not have blood vessel, nerve and limb. So, how it will get the nourishment, how the cell get the nourishment is by nutrients and oxygen that diffuse through matrix. Uh, so, dekat matrix ni sendiri sebenarnya memang dah ada nutrients and also oxygen. Okay, tapi kalau untuk compact bone, so how it will get, how the cells get the nutrients. Actually, kalau kita tengok dekat sini kan central canal, dia ada blood vessel, nerve and limb kan. So, in between them, okay, each of the lacuna is interconnected with the kana liguli. Ha, so that's why okay, cell tu akan dapat mineral, akan dapat nutrients okay, through the kana liguli here lah. Okay. And then the function of the compact bone, it will give mechanical support to the body. While for cartilage, it will give flexible support to the body. Okay, and then if you look at here, kalau kita tambah sikit dekat sini, kalau untuk cartilage, the main location, so where we can found, okay, the cartilage, actually it will act as supporting skeleton in sharp and wrist, okay. 
Ha, so that's why shark ni kita panggil sebagai cartilaginous fish. Okay and then another one tip of nose. Alright. Okay, so now we proceed to blood. Okay, the next connective tissue are blood. Okay, so what is blood? It has a liquid extracellular matrix called plasma and cell which are suspended in plasma. And then plasma consists of water, salt and variety of dissolved protein. Okay, and then suspended in plasma are two classes of blood cell which are erythrocyte or we call as red blood cell, leukocyte which are white blood cell and also cell fragment that call platelets. Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini, okay, the composition of the blood, okay, first it has plasma. So, plasma is around 55%. So, plasma consists of water, ion, plasma protein, nutrient, waste, respiratory gases and also hormones. Okay, and then right here, suspended in plasma, it has the white blood cell and also the platelet. So, white blood cell and platelet is around 4%. Percent. And then for red blood cell here, okay, suspended in plasma also, it has the red blood cell which is around 41%. So white blood cell, we can also call that one as leukocyte. Red blood cell, we can also call as erythrocyte. Okay, so now we look at the erythrocyte or red blood cell first. Okay, so red blood cell, its production is occurs in bone marrow. Okay, and then if you look at the structure of the red blood cell, it is small size. Okay, and then the diameter is around 7 to 8 micrometer and then the thickness is around 2 micrometer. Means that the structure of the red blood cell is small. Okay, so if you look at here, so this is the red blood cell or erythrocyte. So the shape of the red blood cell we call as biconcave disc shape. Okay, so you have to know what is the adaptation. Okay. To the biconcave, this shape of erythrocyte. So, apa dia punya adaptation? Ha, disebabkan only, the shape of the erythrocyte is biconcave disc. Okay. So, it will increase the surface area. Which, it will enhance the rate of oxygen diffusion. Ha, so, this one awak mesti kena ingat lah. The adaptation of the shape of the erythrocyte. Okay. So, since the shape is biconcave disc shape. So, it will increase the surface area. Which, it will enhance the rate of oxygen diffusion. Okay. And then, for red blood cell also, it has lack nuclei and organelle. Okay. In matured area. Trocyte. Okay, maksudnya dia tak ada nucleus dan juga organel. So, what is the adaptation? So, it will leave more space for hemoglobin storage because of what? In red blood cell, it has hemoglobin. So, since erythrocyte, there is no, there is lack of nuclei and also organel. So, dia akan bagi lebih banyak ruang kepada hemoglobin. Okay. And then, next structure, it is elastic of flexible and thin plasma membrane. So, what is the adaptation? Is the movement in blood capillary. So, maksudnya pergerakan uh, erythrocyte ataupun red blood cell ni through blood capillary akan jadi lebih mudah disebabkan oleh structure-nya yang elastic, flexible and also thin. Okay, and then another one, it has many hemoglobin. Ah, So, what is the adaptation? So, it will efficient for transportation of respiratory gases. Okay, so that's why if you look at the major function of the erythrocyte here, it will transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. So, both oxygen and carbon dioxide are respiratory gases and also pH buffering. Okay, so one of the question, okay, it can ask you why erythrocyte has no mitochondria. Kenapa dekat erythrocyte or red blood cell there is no mitochondria? Because of what? It is efficient transport of oxygen because it cannot conduct aerobic respiration. So, macam yang kita semua tahu, mitochondria, its function is site for cellular respiration. Okay, so one of the process in cellular respiration we call as aerobic respiration. So, aerobic respiration is the process by which it will use oxygen. So, kalau misalnya ada mitochondria pada structure of erythrocyte, so mungkin mitochondria ni dia akan gunakan okay, oksigen yang ada pada erythrocyte tu tadi. Ha, sebab function of erythrocyte kan dia akan transport oksigen and carbon dioxide. So, kalau ada mitochondria, so mungkin that mitochondria akan gunakan oksigen okay, yang ada untuk berlaku proses aerobic respiration. Ha, so, since there is no mitochondria in erythrocyte, so that's why it will be efficient transport of oksigen. Ha, because it cannot conduct aerobic respiration 
or cannot use the oxygen it carries. Maksudnya erythrocyte tu dia tak akan gunakan lah oksigen yang ada sebab there is no mitochondria in the erythrocyte. Okay. So now we look at the leukocyte or white blood cell. So actually for leukocyte we can divide either it is granulocyte or agranulocyte. Okay so yang ini saya nak awak tambahkan pada awak punya handout. Okay for granulocyte Okay, it has either it is neutrophil, eosinophil and also basophil. So, granulocyte uh, means it it has a granular cytoplasm and also lobe nuclei. Ha, so, structure of the nuclei dia ni berbentuk macam ni. Ha, so, ni ni kita panggil sebagai granulocyte. But for a granulocyte, okay, the percentage is around 28%. It has clear cytoplasm. Maksudnya, cytoplasm ni lebih clear. Tapi kalau untuk granulocyte tadi, dia granular. Ha, ada granule. Okay, yang macam bintik-bintik tu. Okay. And then the nuclei are round. Ha, so, the structure of nuclei like this. Round or kidney shape. Ha, so, berbeza lah dengan granulocyte. Dia punya nuclei adalah loop. Ha, bentuk macam ni ha, Tapi kalau untuk agranulocyte The nuclei are round or kidney shape For agranulocyte uh, We can classify it either It is lymphocyte or monocyte Okay so now we look at the basic This is the basic structure of the leukocyte Okay so the size of the leukocyte is around 12 to 20 micrometer in diameter Which is kalau kita bagi conclusion dekat sini Size dia adalah lebih besar daripada erythrocyte And then the shape of the leukocyte is irregular Maksudnya dia tak ada specific shape Kalau macam uh, erythrocyte tadi the shape is by concave disc uh, Tapi kalau untuk the leukocyte the shape is irregular Gular. And then present of nucleus So for leukosite it has nucleus ha, So kalau awak nampak dekat sini So it has nucleus Okay and then present of organelle It has it is also has organelle But there is no hemoglobin in leukosite ha, So present of hemoglobin it is absent So what is the function of the leukosite So the main function of the leukosite It will define body against harmful bacteria and other mechanism. So the keywords here is defend body against harmful bacteria. Ha, maksudnya dia lebih kepada protection lah. Okay. And then for monocyte and neutrophil. Okay. It will involve in phagocyte. Ha, phagocyte which engulf and digest microorganism and debris from our own dead cell. Maksudnya uh, engulf. And also engulf ni macam kita kata dia makan kan ha, Phagocyte which engulf and digest So what happen dia akan digest lah The microorganism and debris from our own dead cell And then for lymphocyte It will become specialized as B cell and T cell Produce an immune response against foreign substance Okay So now we look at the last one which are platelet. Okay, so what is platelet? It is pinch of cytoplasmic fragment of specialized bone marrow cell which is it is about 2 to 3 micrometer in diameter. So means that the punya size tu adalah small and that it have no nuclei. So the important of the platelets it will involve in blood clotting. Okay, uh, so that's all for animal tissue. So I hope you can do your own revision. Okay, thank you.